Deliciously with Ara. Ngayon gagawa tayo ng kimbap. I can taste. I'm already in Korea. Yay! <laughs> Malat basarap. So the kimbap is one of the most popular Korean meal. That we normally prepare kung may mga picnic or outing, ito yung madalas na ginagawa namin because it's really easy to eat it outside. So for um, kimbap, we just need any kinds of ingredients. It's okay as long as we have the seaweeds, the kim, and the rice well seasoned. So first, let's first prepare our ingredients. Unahin natin yung ating mga vegetables. We'll have to have it sliced para the others, we can already prepare it na. So siguro, I'm just gonna make it around this thick. And then hiwain natin siya pahaba. And ilalagay ko siya sa aking bowl and then I'm gonna get some rock salt. Imamarinate ko lang siya para medyo magiging matanggal lang yung kanyang water. So when I make kimbap, hindi magiging soggy yung ating kimbap. So I'm just gonna uh, roughly throw it around, around like a half a tea, half a tablespoon ng rock salt. And then iwan natin siya ng mga around 5 to 10 minutes habang hini-prepare natin yung ibang ating ingredients. So here, I have my carrots. Na peel ko na siya. You have either option to whether cut it thinly or you can actually use something like this para i-grate na lang natin siya ng maninipis. I actually prefer using this. So what I do is pahaba. And I have here odeng or this is a fish cake. I norm, um, you can get this at Korean groceries. Ika-cut natin siya ng pahaba. So I'm just gonna use probably just one kasi gagawa ko good for one. And this crab meat, you can also get this from the Korean groceries or whatever groceries that you have. Imitation crab meat actually siya. I'm gonna remove the plastic cover and I'm just gonna half it. So, half ko lang siya. And of course, we all love ham. So this is actually a kimbap ham, but you can actually substitute whatever ham that you want. So if you buy a kimbap ham like this, actually the good thing na cut na siya. Or if not, Ibang ham ang gagamitin niyo. You can just cut them as like this kind of thickness. So I'm just gonna set aside a few of the things that I need. And this is pickled radish. Actually, this is one of the most crucial ingredients when we say kimbap because this gives the extra kick of it. So you can buy this also in Korean groceries. It's yellowish. And now I'm gonna break our egg. So I need around two eggs. And it's scramble natin siya. And then maga add ako ng sugar, like around two sprinkles of salt. Just for taste, and the natin siya. And then, pag medyo umint na yung ating pan, I'm gonna put my egg. You don't really have to worry about yung pagiging buo niya, because anyway, you'll have to cut it anyway. So don't worry about yung shape niya, basta maluto lang siya ng buo. So there, na luto na yung ating egg, I'm gonna turn it off. And then, isa aside ko yung aking ginawang egg. So, palamigin lang natin siya ng konti. And then, habang palamigin ko yung aking egg, we're gonna start frying already. Lutuin na natin yung ating mga carrots, our ham, and odeng, and the crab meat. Kaya na nahiwan natin. And with this, just a little amount of oil, just a drizzle lang, I'm gonna cook our um, carrots. Isa stir fry ko lang siya ng konti. Maga add tayo ng konting drizzle of um, salt, just for taste lang. And actually, the carrots, pag inidit natin siya sa oil, it becomes, it brings out the sweetness of it. So I'm pretty sure even the kids would eat it, kasi matamis naman yung carrots na niluluto natin. So we'll just cook it until medyo magiging parang um, uh, transparent na konti ang ating color ng ating carrots. So now we're gonna stir fry our odeng. Lastly, I'm gonna add here one table, one half tablespoon ng toyo, just a little bit lang. So now we have stir fried all the ingredients that na kailangan natin. At meron ako na iwan kanya yung ating cucumber na nilagyan ko ng salt. And I think as you can see, medyo naging matamlay and medyo naging soft na. Ibababat natin siya sa water just for our rinse and it will pick up. We'll squeeze it. So, 
So na earrings ka lang, kasi baka maju maging too salty na. And then pipikay natin siya na just to remove the excess water. So and there we have our cucumber. Isa sa aside ko na siya sa tabe. So tapos na tayo maghanda na lahat ng ating mga stuffing sa ating kimbap. We're gonna now season our rice. Actually, this is the most important part of our kimbap making. Kasi kung masarap na yung ating season ng ating rice, masarap na yung ating kimbap. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to measure that perfect seasoning. Um, this one I use is just a regular dinorado rice. But madalas nakikita ko na yung mga kimbap that ang nag-fail, medyo nagiging too soggy, yung parang nagiging smush na, masyadong nagiging luga yung ating rice. Actually, what you should do is like a perfect blend, like parang medyo maluto, but if you cannot have an access to get, get a Japanese rice, what you can do is like either like what I did, I used Dinorado, or if just a regular rice, you can add there siguro mga one-third cup ng malakit, it will help the consistency ng ating rice na medyo magiging parang very stuffy, perfect for our rolls or for kimpaps. So the measurement today is gonna be our cup as usual. I'm gonna put like siguro one cup of rice. And I think one cup of rice is good for around one and a half kimbap normally. So I think adding basis ng pagme measure. Maglalagay tayo na one fourth na salt or iodized. So siguro around like this much. And then one half of our sesame seed or one third ng sesame seed. Actually, this is very optional. Kung gusto niyang mas marami, you can make it up to one and a half. And the most important part, which is our sesame oil, the Korean sesame oil for our kimbap, I'm gonna use one half cup, one half tablespoon. So around roughly this much. And now, if you have a sandok like this or a spoon, whatever you're gonna use, don't squash the rice pa baba. Kasi magsasmash yung bigas and then ma ma may paggagawa tayo ng kimbap para malugaw na siya. So what you have to do is just um, put your sandok like this, pahaba, pat pat tayo. So what we have to come up with is like perfectly seasoned na rice na buo pa rin yung parang kanyang itsura. Hindi siya parang nagmudge or parang lugaw-lugaw na. So it has to be like this. And you have to taste your rice. Now, dapat yung lasa niya talaga mas malasang malasa na because this will be the depiction of the flavor of our kimbap. And the stuffings that we have prepared is just gonna be an accessories. So, kung malasang malasang yung ating rice, with just kim, that's already a perfect and best kimbap tasting. So, I think this is perfectly good for me. I'm gonna start rolling on with our seaweeds or kim. So, this is our kim. And actually, there are two kinds of kim that you can buy, the seaweeds. This one is, um, parang hindi siya roasted, hindi siya salted. So, you have to buy na ganto ang itura niya. And if you look at the sides, mayroon isa parang glossy. And then there is one that measure rough. We're gonna use the rough side to be inside, facing you, para yung glossy part na yung labas. And this is actually what we call kimpa. This is what we use to roll our rice, our kimpa, to para magiging bilog na bilog siya. Now, if you don't have this, it's not really um, hindi kailangan na magiging problema. I mean, this is an accessory, optional, but not necessarily. So now I'm gonna put this here, and putting our rice or seaweeds like this. Yung glossy part outside. Kuha tayo ng konting uh, water on the side para we can just dip our fingers. Because this will help na hindi didikit yung rice sa ating kamay. So I'm gonna get the rice na kanya natsisan natin. And the amount of rice that we want to have it on our kimbap is the size of a baseball. Ang baseball siguro is siguro laki ng ating mga kamay. So around roughly this much. So kanina yung ginawa natin one cup. Siguro maglalabas siya ng around one and a half. Or yeah, around this much yung rice. Ilalagay natin siya sa gitna. And we'll dip our fingers sa konting water just to help na hindi didikit. And we're gonna evenly spread the rice. Don't press the rice. Isi spread lang lang ng konti. Na manipis lang. So wag, mag, um, be careful na hindi nyo parang ipapress na pag maging paste ang ating kanin. So it has to be very thin. Isi spread out natin siya but not exceeding two-thirds ng ating seaweeds. And I forgot to mention, be careful not to use hot rice. Kailangan medyo maging palamigin nyo ng konti. Kasi kung mainit yung rice ang gagamitin ninyo, first, mahirap talaga siya kamain. And second, um, ang ating seaweeds, para magkakripple siya. So make sure na it's a very good temperature for you to easily hold it on. So around like this, na two-thirds lang ang nilagyan ko ng aking kanin. And make sure um, na spread out ko siya ng manipis lang. 
we're gonna now put in all the stuffings. These stuffings are purely your options and whatever you want, whatever your preference is. So I'm just gonna do the basic ones. Idalagay ko na siya lahat lahat isa isa. Ang ating odeng, I'm gonna put around two pieces, and our cucumber, siguro also around two. And if you have this much, I'm gonna start rolling already. The good kimbap is when the kimbap perfectly ends. The yung rice ang magkabalot dun sa loob, the stuffings, and the stuffings are centered on your rice. So, just gonna put our fingers and roll it. And as you can see, there is an excess. What I'm gonna do is either you can just roll it or you can get just a dip of water. Just put the water sa, sa ends niya and then bilisan niya pag roll. And using my kimpal, I'm just gonna roll it like this to give it a little bit of parang strength para didikit dikit siya. And here it is, our kimpal. So we're gonna make all our rolls like this. So now na kawa na ating kimpa. For our finishing touch, we're gonna just gloss it up on the top with sesame oil ng konte. Now, if ever didikit didikit yung ating kimpa sa ating knife, what we do is we just get a little bit of water, lagyan yun yung sa sa side ng mga blades. Be careful with your hands, and then we use it that way para hindi siya hindi kaya magsquish ng ating kimpa mamaya. And as you can see, nasa center lahat ng ating mga stuffings and nasa gilid yung ating rice. This is what we want to have. Manipis na rice na nakabalat sa ating mga ingredients kanina. Tada! So here is our kimbap. Napaka simple lang gawin. So for sure you can do this at your own homes as well. So thank you again and see you next time. The best part of kimbap is actually yung mga dulo niya like this. I'm gonna preserve the magandang part for my family. I'm gonna eat the best part for me. So let's try. Mmm, perfect already. One bite, you have everything already.